Hey you guys, I want to talk to you about this uh, 10 to 24 Fuji lens uh, I bought recently. It's used. The only issue that I have with it is the um, button right there that allows auto or not on um, aperture. I always like having it off so I can pick it myself. It gets stuck every once in a while, but besides that, the lens is fine. The other night, I had a job outside of Mardi Gras World, and it was misty, foggy. We've been having this kind of weather lately, and it was this 3D projection system that was being displayed, thrown onto the building and the ground, the concrete. And handheld, I was up standing in my truck to get this view. And this lens, the 10 to 24 millimeter lens, is an f4. Okay? And I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, you're shooting late at night. You probably need as big as an aperture as possible. Not true. The f4 is actually perfect because it keeps your sharpness, you know, well rounded. It, it gives you this, you know, better opportunity of depth of field being correct and sharpness. Now, what's neat about this lens is that it is also a stabilizer. It has an image stabilization in the lens and you have it in the X-T4 body. I did have them both turned on and all that did was with me being handheld, I was squeezing the shutter down as slow as a 15th, one five, 15th of a second. And ISO 3200, I believe, at F4. I was not prepared for the images I was getting ready to see when I got back to the house, put the card in the laptop, got them into Capture One. I went immediately to those 15th of a second images. I was like, are these things even sharp? Wow. Wow, that's all I can say. Um, it's the first time I pushed this lens to that kind of a limit, and handheld, I was pretty darn shocked. Uh, look at these images, 15th of a second, handheld, not holding my breath, just slowly squeezing off the shutter. What I could have done to made sure it would have been sharper if I needed it, would be to take my um, shutter on the X-T4 and put it on digital. You know, the electronic shutter. So if you went on electronic shutter, there was nothing else moving. So that would have helped if I needed it. Uh, I did not go to the electronic shutter because when you do that, I believe you get a little more of a crop on the sensor because you're using that format and I want it as wide as I can and this 10 to 24 is an absolutely beautiful lens, man. I use this thing with real estate. Um, you know, when you have those small rooms you need to do, this really helps. It's not a fisheye, so it doesn't do that crazy bending unless you're, like any lens, you know, any wide angle lens, if you're close to your subject and you do any kind of, you know, angleage, you're gonna, you're gonna destroy your lines, your straight lines. Um, so you still need to be, you know, somewhat on the same angle as your walls for your walls to be straight but what i love about this lens is that it it shows me the wide view without any beveling like a fisheye um so anyway i just wanted to do a video really quick and show you this lens because i was shocked at a 15th of a second what i was able to get the stabilizer in the lens as well as the camera body pretty much blew me away so i would love to see your images from this lens for your nighttime exposure thingies how slow can your shutter go handheld and still have a sharp image i'm not to push this thing i'm not to go down to an eighth i'm just curious uh, a 15th i would normally never do handheld ever uh that was impressive so anyway 10 to 24 get it used if you can get it for a better price and uh that's it all right Time to go to work. <laughs> See you in the next video. Hey, uh, real quick, it may be a little noisy because the air is running, but I wanted to record this really fast for the end of the video. Um, December 4th was my birthday, and I, I did something I've never done before on my birthday. Nothing. <laughs>
And I do mean nothing. Uh, this is a very busy time of year. It's bittersweet for me because I have a lot of holiday events and portraits and you name it, deadlines left and right. So my birthday rolls around and I'm right in the middle of I have to get a lot of work done. Well, I didn't do much on my birthday, but what I mean by I didn't do anything was I didn't talk about it on Facebook, not on Instagram, I didn't even tell you guys. I just wanted to go incognito off the uh, www. You know what I mean? And I figured, hey man, my close family and friends will text me happy birthday and it's okay if the rest of the world does not slam my Facebook feed with happy birthday because you got a notification from Facebook, which is why I'm sure all of us keep up with people's birthdays, honestly. But I always, when I see that um, it's a friend of mine's birthday on Facebook, I always text them directly. So it's a phone to their phone, me to them, not just on the big old feed, um, copy paste, happy birthday, so and so. Uh, I just wanted to share that with you, you know? So if you have anybody coming up with some birthdays, text them directly. Don't do it on Facebook. That's it. See you later. Bye.